So, we're, um, we're just at Cambrian Basin this morning and it's been a little bit foot traffic-y overnight. Um, in fact, a lovely little boy just decided to climb up on the boat a second ago to pose for a picture. Um, <clears throat> which was fine. But, uh, basically it just means there's been a lot, fair amount of traffic and there's some street noise uh, from up near the arena here. So, we, uh, since we're going to spend a day or so, we want to have a little bit of a nicer spot. Uh, Joe has walked ahead to Gas Street Basin and is looking for moorings over there. I have gotten this ready to go and I'm going to take this off, cast off, and push up and around to that basin. Okay, so we're moored up beside this old pub here, which is open until 2 a.m., so we're probably not getting any sleep tonight. Um, the Gas Street Basin is quite a pretty little place, but the wind is insane, so we nearly ended up scuttling that uh, little fiberglass boat over there. Hopefully the wind dies down for tomorrow. With any luck, we get some sleep, but probably not. So that's a day. So we are in the Gas Street Basin, we came down two days ago. We've had two nights outside this pub, which was, we thought might be a bit noisy, but it wasn't too bad. No, it was the, fine. The main noise was just by passers-by and high spirits, but there was nothing, it wasn't that late last night, it was Saturday night last night, but it wasn't that bad at all. No, in fact the most uncomfortable part of the whole time was the rather blustery blusteriness of it all. Yeah, it was really windy and it's still a bit windy today. And it's weird, this little notch here, in the basin. It's kind of a triangular shaped basin. So we get over here towards what is apparently an HSBC. Um, there is just like a lot of really weird little downbursts and stuff. But you get just over past those boats there. And there's nothing. And you, can nothing. See, you can see the water's just like glass. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, we had fun. Or oh, I wouldn't call it fun. We had fun. Capital F fun. We had stress getting in here. Um, we shouldn't have come in, but it was poor communication and last minute decisions and we and, and the diabolical wind oh um, yeah so we came in and got blown all the way over to that side and had to use ropes and all sorts to get on the morrow yeah. and so we, we've been apprehensive for the last two days about getting back out again yeah and it was nice and calm for a little while so we were hoping hey no problem but it's already picking up again so, we're, so let's just get going because we're just stressed while yeah. waiting so basically the plan is to back up <coughs> and use the rear rope to help us pivot the front of the boat over so that we miss the, the plastic boat and don't smash it to bits. Um, all while being watched by a whole bunch of small children. They're all looking at George. Oh, well that's very nice. Uh, Are we on our way? Yeah, we're not going to film it because we'll be too busy holding ropes and stuff. But yeah. Well, we'll wish, film with the GoPros. Wish us luck.
just waiting for Michael, but I thought I'd show you the rainbow. I mean, there's a rainbow, so we also have rain. That's not so good. So we were in such a rush this morning, we didn't, and well not a rush, we were in such a stress about um, getting out of the basin that we didn't even tell you our plan of what we, where we were going. <laughs> so basically we were finishing off the Birmingham and Worcester for, between Birmingham and Kings Norton because previously we'd done Kings Norton to Worcester so we just had this little stretch to do and then we have turned around and we've come back as far as Bourneville and now we are moored and the Bourneville visitor morning so it's really nice. It's just outside Cadbury World where we can smell chocolate. There's a smell of chocolate in there. Yes. Which is nice, but uh, but it turns out Cadbury World does not have mascots and rides, and so I'm I'm thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if it was a factory tour, but I'm not really sure I'm up for what it is. Yeah, I mean, if Charlie Cadbury or or what's his name, I don't know, Cynthia Cadbury or somebody was coming around to meet and 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 introducing me to the Boompa Loompas, and uh, oh, I see, you're going for the Willy Wonka. Well, I mean, you know. Right, my phone's like, getting too wet. Okay, her phone's getting too wet. We went to Kings Norton, we've come back. We're outside the Cadbury factory, it's soaking wet. There's a rainbow, it's really kind of cool. Dog's wet. Good? Excellent. I'm freezing cold. Thanks okay. for watching. Like, click the bell, comment, subscribe if you're interested in getting notifications, etc., etc., etc. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. Can't think of anything else that I was supposed to talk about and didn't. The BZP, BB, whatever the heck, the, the plastic boat, the, the yogurt top, yogurt pot over here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like, click, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, said click again. Mm -hmm.